All right, guys, got a little bit of a treat here for you. Went out and picked up an AR-15 flash enhancer. Really excited to try this guy out and see how she works. Even the looks of it is really badass. I think I paid 46 bucks for it, so you certainly can't go wrong. Another thing I'm going to be trying out today is on the right you have the uh, regular bird cage muzzle brake that it came with, and on the left you have the uh, Troy Industries Medieval Muzzle Brake. And I picked that up as well. It was going to be my standard muzzle brake uh, for this Smith & Wesson MMP 15 Tactical. So I bought a couple boxes of ammunition. I got the PMC X-Tac um, and some WPA Military Classic and uh, 223 Remington. The Flash Enhancer directions did mention that uh, you want to get a uh, kind of a dirtier ammo. Uh, Russian ammo is generally the best and the reasoning for that is because they don't have flash suppressing type uh, powder in it. So uh, we'll go ahead and see how this thing works and hopefully we can get a good flash out of it. Alright so this is the Troy Industries Medieval Muzzle Brake. I'm going to go ahead and give this a whirl. Pretty sweet. Alright next up is the WPA Military Classic 223 Remington. Steel jacket, 55 grain. Uh, we got the standard stock muzzle brake on here, birdcage muzzle brake. We'll see uh, how she compares to that of the Flash Enhancer and the Troy Industries Medieval muzzle brake. All right, we've got five rounds of the WPA Military Classic 223 55 grain full metal jacket. We got it on the uh, Troy Industries Medieval Muzzle Brake. We'll see how this compares to uh, the regular muzzle brake and the flash enhancer. All right, five more rounds. WPA Military Classic 223 steel case, 55 grain, full metal jacket with the flash enhancer.